Minister, in January, an investment fund bought up 85% of the homes in a Dublin housing estate. Um, back then, the Minister for Housing said that in January, uh, an investment fund bought up 85% of the homes in a housing estate in Dublin. And back then, the Housing Minister said that he would review the useless 10% stamp duty on the bulk purchasing of homes. But two months on, uh, nothing's happened. The government haven't acted. And this week, we have yet another report on the disastrous impact of vulture funds snapping up homes. According to the Central Bank, in 2021 alone, vulture funds spent more than €1 billion Euro buying up second-hand homes, which they then put up for rent at much higher rates than average. So, Minister, investment funds shouldn't be able to buy existing homes or apartments. Not only are they driving up house prices and rents, they're locking out first-time buyers. The government recognised that the stamp duty needs to change. It Thank hasn't you. yet. Minister, what was the result of the view? Minister, Why is it taking so long? Minister to respond. Yeah, Deputy, look, this, this is a matter for the Minister for Housing. I think he acknowledged in a debate in the last number of weeks that he needs, that he needs to review this number uh, uh, to make sure that there's uh, a, an appropriate disincentive uh, for, uh, for bulk purchasing of, of homes. I think it is important to say, I think the figure is about 2% of homes are being purchased uh, by, by large investment funds in terms of bulk purchases. Um, so it's, it's important that we don't um, um, uh, 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 overstate the impact on the supply of homes. Uh, having said that, um, the, uh, uh, the Minister has said that he's going to look at this issue uh, and I'll, I'll ask him to come back to you with a timeline in terms of when he can make a decision on it.